So it's Cable here, it's uh, one to one, I'm with uh, one of my superstar trainers, uh, Trevor Day, he's uh, also our education and internship manager for all of our uh, trainers, so he provides the new trainer education when we bring uh, new trainers on board into the facility, and uh, today he's going to talk about uh, correcting head forward posture, is that correct? Yep. Okay, so, so tell me, explain a little bit about head forward posture, and um, what are the things that you're going to talk about or do today? Uh, so head forward posture is a really growing concern nowadays. It's really highly seen among high business professionals, people that sit at the desk all day at computers and chairs. And I really want to talk about how we can actually go about correcting that. So let's talk about some exercises and uh, how to improve forward head posture so we don't get neck pain and discomfort every day. Cool. Okay, so Trevor's going to try to demonstrate and talk you through those exercises. But just to draw the final conclusion so you know exactly what we're talking about and what head forward posture is, unfortunately a good example of head forward posture is myself. Okay, so as I turn to the wall and you look at my profile, you're going to notice that my ear is going to reside forward of my shoulder or that bone in your shoulder called the acromion. So we'll have a look, we'll shut off the video, and uh, Trevor's going to demonstrate these exercises. So here it is. So we're going to talk about our first segment that we can talk about for the first exercise, and that's the beginner stage and really a good assessment tool for forward head posture. I'm really going to stand against the wall here. I'm going to look at my chin and position my chin and the flatness of my head up against the nice wall. I'm actually going to, people tend to arch their back and get a nice hyperlordotic spine and do this and it's a really good key for a forward head posture. So we're actually going to actually cue TVA and abdominals to contract, keeping a nice neutral spine against the wall. So I'm actually going to stand up against the wall. I'm going to have my hands up against the wall and I make sure my shoulder blades are nice and flat against the wall. I'm going to cue chin to chest as hard as I can, keep my head nice and flat against the wall. I'm also going to come up here and cue my client, have my abs and TBA contracted very firmly so I have a nice flat back and neutral spine against the wall. The next thing we're going to do, we're going to have our clients sit down on our knee, our kneel down on their knees and hands. Maintaining a nice neutral spine because now gravity wants to take over and really sag their back and get a hyperlobotic spine. So it's more of an exercise to keep their abdominals contracted against that load. Also, we have gravity acting on the neck more as well. So now we're forcing the neck to actually lift against gravity, making more load for our SCM and our scaling muscles. So keeping my clients to contract their TBA, keeping their neutral spine in, nice and tight, drawing the belly button in, chin to chest, and pulling my head up. Maintain neutral spine. I'm just going to hold this for 10 to 30 seconds as long as your client can until they break neutral spine or their head starts to sag forward again. I'm going to the third segment. We're going to talk about the third segment here, and this is actually having a client now on the ground laying on our back. It's really a more advanced version for this and for forehead, head, forward head posture. Actually, now forcing our neck and our SCM and our skin to lift even a bigger load against gravity. We're going to have our clients lay flat against their back, again, keeping their TV contracted with a nice neutral spine. Again, we're going to have our chin to chest really, really tight and lifting our head up against the ground, up against gravity. So again, I'm going to cue my clients right away to have a nice tight core, brace that belly button really tight. And as I do this, I'm going to brace really tight. I'm going to keep my chin really tight to my chest. Okay, and I'm going to keep this really tight, cue my clients to really squeeze really, really hard, lift their head up against the gravity, keeping this really, really tight. Okay, things to look for our client's initial response, and that's actually to push the neck forward, creating this nice big gap and a hyperextension of your neck. You don't want that, we want actually neck flexion, keeping your chin and chest really, really hard, opening up and flattening with this neutral curvature. Hey guys, so that's it. That's three important modifications or exercises, activities that you need to do to help improve head forward posture or understand the mechanics of, of why we experience that and how that can contribute to headaches, aches, pains, things like that. So Trevor is truly an expert when it comes to anatomy and putting this stuff in practice and uh, some of the courses that he teaches here at One to One that are up and coming and for our staff uh, will really certainly help you to educate further on the dynamics of head forward posture. Any final words? No, oh, that's great. Cool, man. Thanks very much for doing this. I really appreciate it.